Welcome back to the I-427 garage, everybody. Well, it's day three here in San Marcos, Texas, and we are slowly getting cars out on their routes for today. Um, later today, we'll bring you back. We'll uh, show you the parking lot more full and uh, catch up with you then.
right, future Frank here with a little safety tip. As you saw us leave this morning, you'll notice that it was raining. And one thing that 100 Treadwear tires do not like is rain, moisture. The second thing they don't like is cold. We had both of those this morning when we left. So I wanna thank Ed. Ed has a, uh, a less track inspired tire on his car, which I believe were a 250 or maybe even a 300 Treadwear. More of an all season type tire on his Cobra. And uh, he was not having the issues. We were. Um, we were slipping and sliding around and Ed was doing very well to keep the pace when we left this morning down low enough that I was able to maintain because nobody wants to be a hero in the rain. So um, one of the things that, uh, you know, we always preach here is to, you know, take these autocross courses and go and autocross your car in order to learn it. And this is one of those areas that that will really help um, to learn your car in all these different situations. So if you have an autocross in your area and they do them in the rain, by all means, sign up and uh, get experience in dry and wet conditions with your car. It will help you in situations like this. So I don't want to preach to any of you, but uh, I didn't want to put this at the end of the video because uh, I thought it was important enough to insert it here and let all you guys know if it's wet or it's cold, slow down.
soon. Well, we've made it to the Desperado Ranch or Resort for Demolition Ranch. And Mrs. IE427 had actually contacted Matt, who owns the place, when they first announced that they were going to have uh, people come in and let them camp here for the eclipse that's coming on Monday. But for whatever reason, um, we, we didn't get a spot because we were going to come and stay here on Sunday night into Monday and then be here for the eclipse. Well, if you look, it's overcast and kind of misty today and uh, not not perfect eclipse viewing weather but uh, nonetheless we figured we'd come out here it's Saturday we really didn't have anything else planned and uh, so Ed and Kathy kind of led the way here and uh, we brought both the cars out to get a photo op in front of the ranch so Ed and Kathy's cars over there Slytherin of course is to the left and the Desperado Ranch for demolition ranch sign um, they still got the old sign up here that says Guadalupe River Ranch, but uh, pretty cool. I mean, we're not we're not going in or anything, but uh, we thought it'd be a nice drive today. It was about an hour and 15 minutes to get here from our hotel, and uh, there you go.
out at the trailer this afternoon just taking care of a few items that uh, kind of showed their uh, showed their age on our trip and um, some other things one thing that I did is uh, before our trip I had added this charging port for the house batteries so basically I'm uh, I'm charging the house batteries from here this way if it's raining or something the cords aren't exposed I'm able to secure the trailer without leaving a door open or one of the like if if for instance I was charging the battery at the front um, I wouldn't have to leave the lid of the toolbox open where the battery is so I've got this here but what I've done is I've gotten a, a charging extension cord from battery tender and then uh, back here you've seen in the past I had two battery tenders one for the car and one for the house batteries now I've got this cool two port charger from battery tender that I'm trying out and so far I'm, I'm pretty happy um, it allows me to just have one charger plugged in but it charges both batteries um, with all the business I give battery tender they should start paying me but uh, they're not it's an unpaid endorsement so um, so that's all ready to go we've got a breakfast coming up with the guys and so I went ahead and I untied Slytherin so the uh, the tie down straps should be stored right over here for the back and they're in the front for the front I just kind of leave them in place because generally I'm never taking the trailer anywhere without tying a car down so it just makes them easy um, one item that I just replaced on the trailer were all these caps on the hinge tubes. And I didn't see the real importance of these until I replaced them. So I had three of them that were bad, both uppers. So this one and the one on the other side, the bottom one over here. And so while I was at, I just figured I'd replace them all. The only one that was still in place was this one over here on the bottom. But when I pulled it off, you can see it was full of muck so I got a bunch of muck on the trailer and then all over the the asphalt here so that was a little bit of a surprise I actually managed to get some of them on my my shoes and on my pants as well but um, that's all done so the trailer's pretty much ready to go whenever we have our next trip or I need to take a car somewhere um, but I think as far as this video goes that's gonna do it um, we really had fun. This was our last day of cruising with uh, Ed and Kathy, and uh, they, uh, they they have been such gracious hosts, uh, you know, on our time in Texas. Uh, they led the way every day on our trip because, you know, they're from Texas. Obviously, this wasn't their backyard, but, you know, Ed kind of took the reins and uh, found nice paths, nice roads for us to take every day. The one out to the um, Desperado resort was really beautiful i just wish it would have been sunny the whole time but uh the sun did poke through later in the afternoon and we really had a good time if you guys are enjoying the content here please do the like the share the subscribe all that kind of stuff we'll see you next time have a great day